You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. It's the voice of DJ Scream broadcasting live from First Class Sounds. My partner, Big Bank Black, is with me. It's time for another edition of Big Facts. Let's go. We here. It's search. Big Facts going up, man. Today we're going to have some special guests up with us. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the one and only Young L.A. Confirmed. Leland. He's pulling up. They didn't think it was going to happen, but he's pulling up. And I can't never say. I think it's Kiyomi Leslie. Y'all know she used to uh, be in a relationship with Bow Wow. She does some other things, you know what I'm saying? So she's going to come chop it up with us. You know what I'm Kiyomi. saying? Kiyomi. Leslie. You know what I'm saying? But what's up with you, though? You good? We got to make sure everybody good. Man, Just like I'm you say. Good, man. I ain't, man, I told you. It should be different day, different th- right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to take a moment to salute you, too, man. We forgot to talk about it last time, but, man, j- just the fact that they properly saluted the Godfather during the L.A. Reed and Babyface tribute. Let's clap. Let's clap for yeah, Black, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, And to yeah, see you up major. in there and to be a part of the history. That was major, salute, man. man. That was amazing, man. You know, them folks really don't be fucking with me, man, but they fucking with me right now, man. <laughs> I'm feeling it, man. Now, I'm now, still feeling it. Big, fa- big Facts is exploding. We just going to handle some, some shit on some real shit, all right? So when we first announced it and put it out and put out the episodes, um, there, was, there was one brother by the name of AO, AO Nation, you know what I'm saying? And then he respectfully, you know what I mean, went in our comments, DMs, and everything. Got us, got us, got us. Didn't really catch my attention to vacation, yeah. but hit him. What it was. Got on the phone with him. Solid brother. You know what I'm saying? He was like, look, this is how I feed my family, et cetera, et cetera. I've been doing it for some time now. I salute y'all. I'm fans of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And on some solid shit, I was like, we going to make sure we salute you because we real niggas. What do you, what do you, what, what, what I'm saying? What you mean? What do you He asked? got a big facts. B- big facts? Yeah, he got a big facts and it's Spelt on YouTube. the same, everything? YouTube. It's just uh, YouTube, though. It's not a podcast. So we told him straight up, we looked at podcasts and Apple, and we didn't see that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because I don't sure. really be on YouTube. Nah, I am because we got some shit on YouTube. Yeah. But I don't really be on YouTube. You nah, we ain't coming biting. We ain't biting no nigga. Man. No, for you know sure. And he 110% know that. So he knows that the fact that I gave him a number. Yeah. This scream or this, no, this me. We need to bring him up here. We going to bring him up here. We That's what I'm telling him, him on some real shit because he nah. talking about some real solid shit. What's his name? AO Nation. That's what his so name is on Instagram. AO Nation. Y'all salute AO Nation. No, right. Shout out AO Nation. Now, for the other 150 million people talking about they got a podcast about some. Listen, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, we want smoke by their big fat. Come on, man. Like, for everybody else, like, what? what, what <laughs> we want we, smoke behind this shit. Do we shit, strike man? you like some niggas that sit around and, as long as we've been doing it, sit around and <laughs> steal some shit? Man, Come we on, want bro. smoke by their big facts, man. That's the bottom line, man. This shit going up is going all the way up, right? Oh, see, so guess we, what? When the shit like that start happening, you know what I'm saying? That just let you know. No, nah, we on the song for sure. Facts. And real nigga saluted it. It's salute again. Hey, he saluted it. No, nah, that's why I say I fuck with homie. I'm going to follow homie and everything when we leave yeah. him. Lock in with him. But nah. But for everybody else just jumping out, talking about we stole this. And, come on, man. We're not a thief. We're takers. <laughs> 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 nah, but for real, though, man. Hey, man. May the best man win, man. You May know the what best saying? man win. See you at the top. Yeah, see it's you enough, at the top. It's enough What's truth it? and facts for everybody. It should yeah, be. Man, come on, man. Keep doing it's what you're doing. There's enough lies going around. Don't get off your hustle, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? With your little podcasts and shit, man. Do what you do, man. But we going digital with this one, man. We getting ready for Young LA. We getting ready for Key Yomi Leslie. Big facts is going down. Yes, sir. Big Bang special guest up in the building. Mm-hmm. Young LA is here. We got to we gotta give it up for Young yeah, LA in the building. Yeah, man. Y'all yeah, clap yeah, with yeah, me now. Yeah, been, oh, clap it up Young clap LA it up is here. Real. Young LA yeah, is here. Yeah, yeah. Black LA. Nigga, boy. Before oh. we get started, man, you know what I mean? Like, Tradition here at Big Facts, man. Raise your right hand. We got to swear you in, man. You got to swear to tell the whole truth. Let's get Nothing it, but the man. truth. Let's so help it. me God. Pledge allegiance to the swag while we at it. And all the swag, <laughs> man. We promise on that. There it is. There it is. What Young LA been up to, man? Holler at us. Oh, man, just, I've been working. Like, the last three months been very busy for me. Um, mm-hmm. Got the distribution we create out on the West Coast. Um, just was able to close that up. Um, that was big for me. Uh, working with Zay right now. Um, we got the EP finna drop first quarter. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just been moving, just recording and getting back in the groove. You know what I mean? Popped out and just got right back to work. Like, Did you ever think when you got into the game and you was making music that you was going to influence so many people with so many styles and so much lingo and so many everything? Man, for real, Scream, like, it be like just looking at it. um, 
it stood the test of time. Like, you know, we was just doing it. I was doing what I was doing. Mm. You know, the world was just saying it, but it was some more young nigga, like, right behind me where I'm from doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's what we was really on. So to see it get, you know, that big and to see it stand the test of time, the trend, from the slang, the lingo, you know what I'm saying? The sound, like, the, you know, um, it, it, man, that's big for me, bro. That's the kind of shit that keep me motivated, bro, mm -hmm. and keep me doing what I do, you know what I mean? Because this is my passion. This is what I love doing. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. So what's some, of the, what's some of the things we could expect from L.A., like, moving forward now, like the space and the headspace that you in? Man, I feel like I'm just, like, the best version of myself, bro. Through like just adversity, bro, and everything I've been through, like I always just withstood and been resilient, like you know what I'm saying, and um, a learning curve through all of that, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, being young, we got to go through everything we go through. A state of matureness and being able to maturate, it's a beautiful thing, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because um, when your personal all the way together, it's always great for your business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you let your personal bleed over to your business, you know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. not a good look, so it's like. Man, I'm so excited to be here and have this kind of focus, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm more focused than I ever been. Mm. You know, one thing that ain't easy, bro, is uh, just getting in the music game. So, you know, um, like Tip, Dro, you know, them people that saluted you and helped you get in the game. You, right, you right, still have conversations right. with them? Are y'all able to chop it up? Are y'all on talking, talking basis? Um, a lot of people that helped me, I still holler at them. Like, me and Zaytoven, and everybody know, like, I can't even before, you know, it got to that point, the he grand hustle tip. situation. <laughs> right. you know? I said Tip. I said Tip and Dro. Yeah. Yeah. Tip and I, said, yeah. Dro. I mean, like, I holler at the one, but, like, me and Tip don't have no conversation. What happened? I mean, I guess, like, really, I guess they feel like how I went about the situation was, you know what I mean? Um, I guess a bad look. You feel me? I'm saying, like, where you think it went wrong yet? Can, can, we get a, can we get a situation of the last conversation? I just think emotionally being in my feeling when I was just like, fuck Grand Hustle. Why? Why you feel like that, though? At that time, like, a lot of stuff wasn't moving on. Um, at that time when I really was at the height of my buzz, like, my uh, album wasn't dropping. It wasn't really no urgency or press, you know what I'm saying, about my situation. And I had put in a lot of work, a lot of work. I mean, I worked hard, hard, hard to get to that point, you know what I'm saying, with the assistance of those guys. And then it was like, once everything was going on, I feel like legally with the king, I think, like, everything I had going on was, like, abandoned. Um... And I know some things you can't control, but like I just felt like they weren't even trying to push for it and kind of like let the buzz die down. So it was like, you know, um, that's well, so, where I was. So, with so it. sometimes time heals, time heals wounds and, and and other things. So I'm saying like, is is it? Do you want it? Would you, would you want to holler at them? Oh yeah, nah, it's all love, bro. Cause like I say, time heals all, and you grow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I say, um. How I went about stuff, you know, I reacted out of emotions too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's like uh, immatureness, you feel me? So growing up and maturing and being in a better state, like, you know what I mean? I ain't just saying, I, I, I done had to look at myself too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, for you real, think, for Do real. you think you ever got caught out there, like, chasing the light? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when I say that, I mean, like, <clears throat> you think your ego got in the way of a lot of your shit? Your own ego? Nah, I never think my ego on uh, hell. I always been a humble ass nigga, black. Um, oh, anybody sure. who know for me, sure. bro, and never really holler at me. It ain't never been no Hollywood shit with me, you feel me? Mm. Um, even at the height of my buzz, like, I'm still going in the night, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm still fucking, you saw, I, 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 I don't never think I went big. Or no, I'm I saying, I'm somebody like, for us with the business shit with Tip and, and Dro, whoever, like, whatever, like, whatever the business situation was, like, do you think, like, <clears throat> Okay, you you coming in, you knowing like I I came in with a hit, for right? One. Right. Put y'all on my hit. Right. Right. Y'all just got down. You feel like they just hopped on the hit, got got without the hit they could, and just left you out there to dry. That's how you feel. I'm asking. It looked like that. That's is that how you feel though. I can't is say that, that how you felt? Nah, nah that, that ain't how I felt to say that honestly Because like I said, he went through some legal shit that he had to deal with You know yeah, what I'm saying? And yeah. that was something that we couldn't control You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But even in that, for me working so hard I still was in my feelings and emotional Because I'm passionate about my career Like anybody, just no, like really. playing basketball, being an athlete You're a football player, you really passionate about your shit You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's how I felt Like when there was no more push or no more effort going toward it I really felt like that, you know what I mean? Moving forward, what you gonna leave in the past? What you feel like you'll leave in the past moving forward, like on your new? Cause yeah. you've been you've been back and forth to jail and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? 
But you feel like you're going to leave to better yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm leaving everything in the past. Like, I'm just really locked in and focused on what I'm doing, and I'm making it about me, you know what I'm saying, this time. I tried to help and bring a lot of people on the first time. A lot of people around me, you know what I'm saying? You have people around you. People don't really be around you genuinely, you know what I'm saying? So going forth, like, it's just I'm really focusing on myself, you know what I mean? And really locking in on L.A. and my craft, you know what I mean? Mm. That's what I'm on, you feel what I'm saying, Black? I can dig, I can dig. Like, I can dig. separation for the elevation, you know? Nah, so sure. that's what I'm on. Like, I'm really locked in and focused. <clears throat> the talent never was a question. Nah, nah. It was sure. about me Making being. It was about me being focused and growing up. You feel me? For real, for real, becoming a man. Like looking at myself. You know what I'm saying? On certain shit, for real, black. Like, hey, partner, tighten up. Yeah. Hey, you a player, boy? What did you you? You see what I'm saying? As far as like what, like what? What you feel like when you when you was off your rocker? What you think it was like? Drugs, just, yeah, like, just to influence all that and being indulged in it. Cause you know when you indulged in it, like up. you say, you think you moving regular. We do it every day, so get what, you know, yo, you got a high tolerance. I think I'm kicking, pimping. I think I'm on my squad, but it's some of them on the outside looking like, push the side, that ain't play. You see what I'm saying? So I had to tighten up, you know what I mean, on a lot of stuff that I was doing. You feel me? You ever found your space, yourself in a space like maybe talking to some of the young niggas right now that might be about to pop or that's popping and telling them, like, look, this is how you should do it. Do it like this. Like, let me give you a little bit of the blueprint so you don't go through some of the shit I went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nah, definitely. Like, I'm always trying to encourage and push. Like, anybody who got a dream and really believe and let them know what it takes to achieve that. What kind of hard work goes in it? What kind of dedication goes in it? You know what I'm saying? What kind of focus it takes and all that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I be around. Um, shout out Jose, uh, Jose Guapo. I be around Jose Guapo. Little B shot a lot of shout them boys. Out, yeah, shout out Jose Guapo. Shout out Jose Guapo. What up? Man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Giant. That's my motherfucking partner. Uncle Giant. What's up, Uncle yeah, Giant? Shout out to you know Giant, what I mean? Man, real OG Atlanta mm -hmm. nigga. Man, I fuck with Giant. Yes, sir. Yes, We're sir. We're gonna bring Giant up in the pop shit. Man, come on. He pipe it, don't it? Nah, for sure. Pipe it then. I got a lot of it from him. Pipe it then. I got a lot of it from him. Facts, facts. But um, just you know, in, in me saying that. Like, even being around Lil' B-Shot, you know what I'm saying? I'm always telling them, because they doing music, and you know, on they pushing. And so I'm like, bro, this is what we, you need to do, you know what I'm saying? This how you need to go about it. I did it this way, like, you know what I mean? Trying to really guide and, you know what I mean, really give that information that I've been able to attain through experience. Mm -hmm. Not just through, I'm telling you this, I had to go through this, make these mistakes, make these falls. I'm telling you this out of <coughs> experience. This is what's going on. What happened to the Batman and Robin? The Batman and Robin? Yeah, J Money. I think the Batman and Robin had a good run just right now. Like when um just personally and where I'm at right now, I don't just want nothing I don't want nothing but positive around me, black. Yeah, so you so you I don't wanna tie nothing yeah, yeah, to my yeah. brand right now. No, I don't I feel wanna that. do none of that. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? If you ain't in the same headspace I'm in, if your focus ain't where I'm at, if you ain't in the same place in life I'm at, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I feel that. And um I think that's just but I, I I can truly say we make great music together. So I had to look at that from an artist standpoint too and say, well, fuck all that, the business and everything and all what it look. Great music is great music. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we do make good music together. And it, you know, so I mean, it's just some situations, man, built off, you know what I mean, how they are sometimes. Y'all still speaking terms? Jay yeah, Man? we speak. We yeah. speak. Because you know why? Like, J Money is really one of the artists I feel like I call friend. We got artists and we got people, you know, we deal with people who do what we do, our job description. But that's a nigga I can say, I know his mama. I know his kids. So yeah. I wouldn't want to see nothing bad happen to Shawty. You yeah, see what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. I'm going to feel that. Yeah. So I got nothing but love for him. I've been hollering at him. So it's all good. Some, some I always get ass, and we can bring some clarity to it. Is when people think black amigos or black amigos, like you said at the beginning of the song, black amigo boys. Right. So, certain people are gonna say for sure, original black amigo, Scooter. Right. right. J Money. Right. Is it Scooter, J Money, and Future? Was that the original black? I don't even think J Money was really a part of it. Black Migo came through J Money. R.I.P. to Woo. R.I.P. Young Woo. Yeah. Okay. Um, Give us the history. J Money came with the Black Migo and was like, bro, we need to like, this what's going on, did the lingo. Let pipe it, pop, 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 pop. You see what I'm saying? Wu had a record at that time. 
paparazzi. I had Ain't I. J Money had a record that he was working. So what I'm saying is we were all way together and figure eight D different clubs cause we had three hot records. So we started rocking, it was like J Money like, oh, but let pop the black me go. So from me being an artist like I am and a musician, I'm like, damn, that shit got a ring to it. Black me, oh hell yeah. But I don't <coughs> think Home was the one who came up with that. Mm. Home went and ran off with. <laughs> Lingo and game and who he ran and all with from and, 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 and that being yeah. real, I mean yeah, everybody you, know Black Migo yeah yeah see what I'm saying mm. home uh, free tie yeah you know what I mean home mm-hmm. with round tie and round the kind of you know what I mean heard some shit and ran. gang hey man <laughs> you why you in that game room <laughs> then you bring game room to lay lay from Tumbleville Heights yeah my face great. At this point in the city, boy, shot it really from that dope hole. You pull up out there, you gonna see him. Yeah. You bring him around me, popping that one after you done ran off with it. I get to popping it. Now it look like I'm laying on the floor. See what I'm saying? Now I'm in the middle of this and that and him and him. You see what I'm saying? So musically, you was paying homage to something he brought to you, but now you figured out the original black Migo. Facts. Who- what this show called? Big facts. Big facts. You, you see what I'm saying? Truth. Want the truth or plead the And fifth. I'm popping it the street way, like hood to hood and how I'm popping it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we want, I, don't, I don't do that one. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was like when I said Black Amigo Boys, I was saying it from a standpoint of what Jay had brought to me. Mm. With this, what we were popping and saying. That stirred up on the back end. You yeah, see you what I'm saying? You said it on a hit. On a hit big yeah. record. Yeah. Cause this every day is what I'm on. Home pull up on me with the game. But hey, punning that one your ball game. See what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just putting Threw you down. Do me a foul. Yeah. You yeah. Threw me a foul, sir. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So you know, they, like how your relationship been with Scooter? You been talking to Scooter? Boy, Future? shot out the street. Yeah. I just seen him. We've been in pack work for like the last two weeks. Yeah. That's hard. And I've been seeing them every day. Mm-hmm. And um, when I got the situation with Create and, you know what I'm saying, everything, my whole new situation in, in the rollout, I hit Street. You know what I'm saying? I hit Street from behind the wall. Like, Street, I'm going to need you on the record. You know what I'm saying? What I need to do. Because I fuck with Street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. I fuck with Street. So it, it's always good to see him, bro. Shout out BMG Black Migo Gang, the real Black Migo Gang. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Y'all yeah. like big facts. I will ask it, I'm a fan of all this culture and all this shit, man. What, what what happened with LA and the duct tape on the face and the whole situation? I'm going to ask it. Because I just want to know. Big facts. Or big, plead the big, fifth. Nothing but big. From the top. Number take it from big. the top. Just take it from the top. It's just number big facts. Yeah, like, take it from the top. Man, if I could have executed what I was trying to do at that time, if everybody could see my vision, I think we on the same page, I was trying to go for it. Um, that was right after the Grand Hustle situation. I always been a fan of the tape. They always had a crazy movement. At this time, though, I'm fucking my boy Dave every day. Mm-hmm. Me and home together every day. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? This after the Grand Hustle situation, like I'm Ronnie boy, black pulling up. I'm seeing black. I'm seeing Lil one. I'm getting embraced. It's real genuine love. It ain't no sucker shit. Mm-hmm. We know sucker shit. We see it. This real genuine love. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So at that time, I was in a comfort zone. And my whole thing was, boy, come back. No more Grand Hustle. I'm taped now. You see what I'm saying? Time to movement, but not just going just because of the time movement. Because I was really kicking player shit with my boy Dave and me at home with bonding. And really got down building up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um... Before I even got the on tech, I hit Dave. I hit Dave and I would tell him, I was like, bro, I want to hit that got to that level. Like, bro, I want to go on and stamp it. Then how we bumming back around. Like, yeah. no more grand hustle. Shout it like, boom, pop out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was my whole vision. And um, like I said, I had Holly um, Dave before I did it. And it just, I feel like, um, I feel like with a problem, like, um, really came in, I think it was. The media. The media, and not only that, when you got other artists around too, black, you know what I'm saying, who attached to, you got other, are they doing this, they doing that, I'm coming with a big, big name, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, am I trying to step on toes, you see what I'm trying to say, and that was never my intention, my intention was to link and rock out, yeah. Let's put these hits out, link, rock out, and on, and who fucking with that, you know I what I'm saying, that, that was my was mind. I like a miscommunication though, because they hit me about the shit, right? 
Yeah. Like, God damn, bro, I'm fucking with Lay. Like, I'm with Lay Lock him all the way in. I was like, I fuck with Lay. You know what I'm saying? Then I seen you, when I pulled up over there, you was like, man, Lil one said he ready to get in the studio, bro. I'm ready to help him write, bro. I'm ready, goddamn, for the play. I'm Fact. with the play. Fact. So, so goddamn, it was like, when you went and got the tattoo or whatever, Allie was like, I think Allie said something or something, and yeah. then you said something, and then it just, that's just how that shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't, like, yeah. I just think Allie wasn't informed, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, Duck take all these niggas that's with this shit, it's in their heart, you know what I'm saying? Fact. Regardless of our differences that we might have amongst each other or whatever, because we brothers. Mm-hmm. But we all wear that shit in our heart. Like, no matter what a nigga saying he is or doing, his duct tape. Fact. You know Fact. what I'm saying? Like, so, Allie was the face of that shit at yeah. that moment. So, mm-hmm. it's like, what yeah. the hell they doing? Y'all ain't, t- you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he, you know what I'm saying? He, he speak out emotion, so he gonna say what he gonna say right. and right. how he gonna say it before it's even negotiated or talked about with anybody. It's just Allie. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I guess he said something like coming out and Lay said some shit in goddamn North Carolina, still in my face, like basically, like sh- he took it like you spit in his face and you're like, well, shit, I'm, I'm gonna holler at bank. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Right, right. But I seen y'all nigga on pitch and shit. I know that shit over with. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, streets, yeah, yeah. like, shit, yeah, been, yeah, ain't, it ain't yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 It was yeah. just, like, crazy situation, like, if I was down, stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I wouldn't even want to see nothing like that, because, like, y'all a cool nigga. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? But well, now it's good to know, because the perception of the public was different. So that's right, right, that's why right. we're here to clear that see, up. In, it, see, it, Instagram it, and shit wasn't around. Hold on, I ain't cutting y'all. Instagram and shit wasn't around. Twitter, but it wasn't even Twitter, really. It was just... You, it was just some YouTube shit. My world star. World, world star. star. Yeah, yeah, world yeah, star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World it wasn't star. even, you that know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga couldn't even goddamn really get his point out there. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever it was, it was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Like, like mm-hmm. this shit just was crazy. And then everybody was hyping this shit up in the yeah. middle. When I don't think it was really an issue to a nigga just say some shit to make a nigga feel like, all right, it's disrespect now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. But to this day, man, I always been, you know what I'm saying, brave, bro. And, and want to get niggas like hell nah, even after this fact. Yeah, like, yeah, y'all yeah. niggas need to kill that shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just like when shit hit the internet, it just take a whole mm-hmm. another life of its own. Yeah, World Star, World Star was a, a beast at that point. What? Yeah, they had them yeah. captions, you know what I'm saying? Them captions make yeah. a nigga even madder, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got the LA say that duck ain't coming out of this yeah. place or whatever, you <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, and then yeah. shit, nigga look at it like shit. Ain't no turning back from it now. Shit, we gotta see each other. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, that shit, all that shit pay, man. Nigga, need, everybody just need to, to me, everybody just need to get on this shit, bro. Because this shit out here, man, these nigga making real money. Bro. No black on the way to Forbes, right? Man, bro, they already he saying that shit. I think they called him already. He saying that shit. Man, why you think he ain't? He saying that shit. Man, I need to be on the front man. page of that motherfucker. Thank you, Yank. Don't play with him, man. Yeah. No, real, man. real, 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 man. So, Himself, so, man. So, so, so the new music, how do you personally feel about the new music and your, and your new sound and talk a little bit about the new music? Because another thing we were talking to artists about is, you know, the, that 36 O's. Every artist got that, that one. Right. So you always held to the standard of, damn, how I'm going to match that or top that. So talk right. to us about how you feel with your new music in respect to your classics. That shit really, like, I think when you, like, when you a trendsetter, I feel like you always got to challenge yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like um, how I came in from my sound to the culture that I brought from, you know what I'm saying, how I was dressing from the Mohawks and everything like that, I felt like I did a lot and set a lot of staple mm-hmm. and set a lot of trends that grow and grow, you know what I'm saying, and kept growing. So what I'm saying is, like, me being a trendsetter, I got to find the next thing. So I'm always trying to stay edgy and trying to stay new. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm laying on the music, hearing what everybody's saying. Oh, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to pop that one because they already know they for making his own vocabulary and, mm-hmm. and saying this and saying that. So, okay, you popping this one. Well, guess what? I'm going to pop this one. So just sizing the game up, you know what I'm saying, and seeing and then seeing how I can really sensei. Be the trendsetter that everybody fell in love with, the creator. And that's what the music been coming out like. Mm-hmm. That's what it's been coming out Give us like. some examples on trends you feel like you said in your mind, like in my heart. Nigga, I know y'all niggas wasn't doing this. I know y'all niggas wasn't doing that. Give us some examples on some shit you feel like you brought to the game. I was the first one wearing skinny. That's just <laughs> from the, on, on, on some real rap yeah, shit, yeah, a street yeah. nigga. <laughs> so everybody looking at me brazy, like, you hear me? <laughs> Who this nigga, this tight ass pants on, man? You was, see what I'm saying? It was, it when was it went, it, it wasn't at that it was, point. It was, LA, it was LA and Rich Kids in the figure eight. 
at Rock, that, rocking them for at, sure. Like at that era, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't you had to fight through, you know what I'm saying? The nigga saying, home, what you got going <laughs> right, on? Right, 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 yeah. right. But this futurist lean, I'm different. This is me, you know what I'm saying? And I think as time grew, uh, and not only that, I feel like the melodic cadence. I feel like melodies, mm. singing really on beats, you know, now um People really can sing, people really singing singing now on their songs, mm. but the harmonic melodic type melodies like what's going on right there. I feel like I I kind of ushered that in. Songs like we in this thing. Songs like I'm so futuristic. I don't even brush my hair. Like mm. all all my songs was sing along. Like that's all I was doing. What about the hairstyle? You don't feel like you brought the hairstyle haircut shit. To you that? know I brought haircut <laughs> what to the game, man. Come on, crazy mohawk. You know what I mean? Don't kill. Like I'm a superstar. I'm, I'm you know I'm really cool in my skin. Mm. So I, I you know I stand out. You know what I'm saying? And I think. Over the years, me just studying music, all the superstars, they've been like that. Whether it's how they shoot their videos from Missy Elliott, like just the it's difference. Game. It's, game it's right. just the, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think uh, the baby got it right now, just with what he do, you know what I'm saying, from an entertainment standpoint. But that stuff really separates you, Black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It separates an entertainer from a superstar, just a star, you know, or a rapper. And I think when you go outside the norm and go outside the box, um, that's when you start hitting that superstar steady. Mm. So that's what I'm chasing You know what I'm saying I ain't gonna change it up I'm staying true to myself Yeah The same way I came in How I walked in black Same thing I was doing Before I left And this is how You know what I mean Like this how they doing it Right now You know what I'm saying So I'm gonna keep doing me mm. All real shit One thing we always uh, Ask before we rap Big facts man I'm gonna let you ask it Cause you ask it so well Are they alright Yeah Like mm. ment- in the mental space You know what I'm saying Like when you wake up In the mental space Just living day to day Like the music industry is some fucked up I'm shit, happy. man. It's not normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, th- shit, nah. I understand that, like, shit a nigga go through in his life, like, mm-hmm. is it affecting you mentally? Like, do you wake up sometimes depressed? The bass is saying, like, are you all right? Man, I'm great, bro. Man, when I wake up, screaming, I'm so happy, bro. How you, you feel like you got there? Through all the adversity and pain. Mm. The embarrassment, the guilt, the everything that you feel, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody feel emotion. So everything you go through and when you prevail through that and you see the best version of yourself, like I'm looking better, skin glowing, weight up, like it's just everything. And I feel like I had to face that. You say, some, some, some niggas ain't real enough a man enough black to just face it. You feel me? Nah, Sometimes you got to go through it. Why you trying to walk around it or figure out a plan how you not going to go through it? Part Sometimes you just got to man up and just walk. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That real shit could get And what? I'm happy as fuck right now. You stop, you might well lay down. It's part of the line. story. You stop, Fact. you might well lay down. Niggas just got to keep going no matter what. Like, Because I don't give a fuck if you done did everything perfect. It's still going to be a nigga out here saying you did something wrong. Facts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could be done did everything for everybody. You can try to please everybody in the world, man. But if that shit don't make you happy, you ain't, right. ain't going to go through. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm-hmm. Once a nigga get happy... Like, within itself, like, bro, fuck that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to get at. I'm finna get me some money. That's what I'm at. I you feel like you reach diff- different levels of being a man throughout your life. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're a man, shit. but you reach different yeah. levels of this shit. Yeah. Depending Real on what shit. you go through. Real Fact. shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Real yeah, shit, man. For sure. Appreciate you. And we appreciate you. Man, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Man, I appreciate you. Where they can get that new music at? It's streaming. It's everywhere? Hey, listen. January 30th, the new single drop on all platforms. We dropping the single and the video that, um, on the same day. Okay. And I'm also doing like a special performance for my fans that we gonna stream all on the thirtieth. Um, shout out to Ziggy, shout out to Zay. He produced the first single. Um, did the big bum back, man. Sensei Hill, Trendsetter, Leland, Black Boy, White Boy, all that, bro. We back in motion. Let's get it. Oh, there it is, Young LA on Big Facts. Salute. We appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Now listen, man. This is the feedback we've been getting. We ain't had no women on Big Facts yet. They on our neck. You know what I'm saying? So the first female guest on Big Facts. <laughs> no, let me she pop my shit. Last time, last time I talked to her, we went viral. Let's give it up for Kaomi <laughs> Leslie in the it's building. Kiyomi. On- Kiyomi hey, Leslie. You know Kiyomi hello. Leslie. See? Hello. Hello, everyone. Let's talk about that chain first. Oh, I'm icy. Yep. How, how long you had that? What, who's the jeweler? Talk to us about it. Because you ain't <laughs> had that last time. I don't even know if you had that a few months ago. No. No, every year you got to level up. I mean, um, shout out to the jeweler. I think the jeweler is sunny, but it was a gift. Okay. Um, Sonny the jeweler, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So but Sonny the jeweler gave it to you, or no, somebody? It was a gift. It was a gift from someone. Yeah, but okay. the, the jeweler is Sonny, I believe. Okay. Um. Yeah. But um. Yeah. It's Christmas gift. Oh, the roller too. You got yeah. The roller too. <laughs> no, the roller. I got a roller. I got to bust down roller because my time. Can't is wait to busy. hold it up. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um. 
yeah. So, yeah. so what you been up to in general? Um, I've been working on my music really hard because okay. I'm planning on releasing within the next couple of weeks. Okay. But you rap or sing? I rap okay. and a little bit of singing, but um, preferably like rap. Okay. Yeah. What you rapping about? What you singing about? Um, I'm rapping about. I'm saying some shit. Like it's hear not it. no bubblegum shit. Right. Um, some gutter shit. Yeah, some gutter shit. You know, I'm talking about my ass fat, my pussy wet, and all that. But you what know niggas want to hear? Yeah, what niggas want to hear? But at the same time, I feel like what separates me from the general pop is the fact that I really know how to rap rap. Like I don't just talk about like the shit that people want to hear about. I talk how, about real shit. How long too. you been rapping? Um, I've been rapping ever since I was younger, but being in this industry as far as like with doing music videos, I started doing music videos and I was a lot of, around a lot of rappers and I was so scared to tell them that like I like to rap because they would always put me on the spot and be like, well, rap some shit. Mm. And I'd be like, well, shit. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but like I can rap somebody else shit. And they're like, nah, what you got? Let me hear you. And I'm like nervous, so... I just decided to start honing in on my craft and really um, getting some music so that when they ask me, I got some shit to play them, and then they start taking me serious, and that's what happened. Like, okay. People started taking me serious, and now I got a whole How, little playlist. I'm going to ask you a real question. How many dummy missions you been on? Because re- female rappers tell me about dummy missions. How many dummy missions you say you been on when you think you're about to go get some work in, get some beats? Get it in, and then you get there, and it well, just I mean, ain't you that. You know that's how I got in my last relationship. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to the studio to work on some music, and goddamn it, so we you, that's on you and Bow Wow. Yeah, we that started musically. Yeah, it started musically. I mean, first. I didn't know. Tell yeah, me. no, it, it started musically first. So yeah. um, there's been a whole bunch of dummy missions since then and before then. Um, I think gosh, just like the thought of just a girl being in there for day, like personal reasons as far as shit. She gonna hear me rap, and I want her to make me feel good about myself. Nah, nigga, I want to rap too. Like, what's up? Yeah, I never get no songs. Then I never get no. No, we got a couple of songs. We did a whole television show, and on that show we had a song. But you know, when relationships end, relationships end. So the personal and business end got fucked up, and so we kind of, I just kind of separated and parted ways. And I'm just. What's the name of the show? Um, I don't want to give him no free promo. I so dig it. I can 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 dig it. Okay, we, I got to ask this. We didn't swear her in. Either. Oh, we have to swear you yeah, in. We didn't swear you could her be in lying either. to us. Oh, oh, yeah. In big yeah. fashion. Real facts. Real no, real big no facts. Raise your right hand <laughs> and swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I swear to tell the whole truth. And that truth. you've told that so far. I've told nothing but the truth. So and far. I got receipts on everything I say in this motherfucker to y'all. Period. So domestic violence is a real situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. just being I'm just, like, no, it's a real situation. There ain't nothing to laugh at, but the, the internet was torn. Yeah. Half the internet thought you abused him. Mm-hmm. The other half of the internet Cap. thought that he abused you. Tell us the facts. Or it's plead the fifth. It's what it is. like Because we did see his face kind of. Oh, she the one beat up Bow Wow? Yeah. My only thing is. You beat that... up Bow Wow. <laughs> Keep it real with us. We don't want to hit a political quick. <laughs> What happened, oh man? Why are you gosh. swinging on people, bro? I'm not swinging on anybody. If y'all, y'all, did y'all do your homework? No, nah, I'm asking. No, man, no. I, but part my man's face was fucked part up. Part I seen his face industry, fucked up. You gotta do your research. No, the, the, home, the homework was the internet. Yeah, I'm that's telling what I'm you saying. Some blogs has he like, seen it? Has he seen nah, it? Nah, I seen the man's face. And so what, you defending face. yourself? We never saw your face. Yeah, I was totally defending myself. Okay, okay, okay. I was totally defending myself. I was not, I'm, anyone who knows me, any guy, and I can really say that, like, if if there has been any man who I've dealt with, none of them can say that I've been, like, this combative type of woman, like, I'm that type of woman. Dudes get mad at me because I want to leave. Because time waits for no one. So when you leave, there's somebody else waiting in your place. Like, that's just how I am. So that'll hurt a nigga more than me trying to fight with you. Like, I don't have to fight nobody. I was not trying to fight him. I wanted to leave, and that was that. Like, period. He got the bad end of the stick because he thought I was sweet, and that's just that on that. Where you from? North Carolina. Uh, What part? Raleigh. Oh, yeah, Riley. you bucking. You down there with Tim Balls now. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Rough Riley. So now that you move forward, uh, I have to ask this properly, too. Now that you move forward, are you, what kind of man are you looking for? What kind of woman might you look, like, what are you looking for? <laughs> or what are you open to? 
Just clear it for it's us. Because, okay. again, we this is all internet shit working. that we trying to get the facts about. I'm working. You working? I'm tied up. You tied up? You just I'm said somebody up. just bought you a bus down in pieces. Somebody you Time is expensive. <laughs> But, um, you, you got them gifts. Yeah. So somebody's that getting means, that time. That somebody means I'm that good. Time. That means I'm well taken care of. And anybody who's stepping up to the plate needs to be somebody who can handle a high maintenance female like myself. So that's just that on that. I don't want no more lames. I can't have another lame on my list. I already like? had one ill. Who the hell? No we just talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know. That's fucked up, man. So. Who the craziest nigga ever slid in your DM? And you was like, damn. I can't tell y'all that. Half of these niggas be having wives and the goddamn girlfriends and shit. I don't I do not do that. Fifth. You bleed the fifth on that one. Bleed the fifth. The fifth. <laughs> you can name one who's single. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell right? y'all what I did do, though. I met this dude in the airport. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not know who he was. Mm. And he may see this, and I'm so sorry. But he, I don't think he got it. Okay, so we in the airport, and I was like, I don't I was telling my mom, like, I think he's somebody, but I don't know. And um, what was his name? I can't even remember the dude's name. He was brown-skinned. He kind of put me in the mindset of, like, Ocho Cinco. That's who I thought it was. Mm. I was like, I think it's Ocho Cinco, but I done seen, like, his pictures before, and he don't look like him. So... He ended up talking to me. We standing in line at the Popeye's, Popeye's Chicken, and he said something like, yeah, you going to pay for mine too? And I'm like, pay for yours? Yeah, I got you. Whatever you want, boo. Why the bitch really rang it up, like, make me pay for all his food? I'm like, okay, whatever, no problem. We exchanged numbers. And so I look up his name, and I was like, I told you this one, Ocho Cinco, and I sent the screenshot <laughs> of his Google to him. I meant to send it to my mama. Do you know I was like, Throw the whole phone away. <coughs> I turned the phone off in time though, so I don't think he got it. But even you said if he you said you sent him that he ain't him. He not. I Ocho. meant to send it to my mama, and I was like, I told you this one Ocho Cinco. It was somebody else, and I sent her the screenshot of the dude go- that I googled him. And I was like, he gonna probably think I'm crazy as hell googling the man. I don't even. Nah, but you, you posed up. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't want to just ask him, nigga, who are you? Research. That's how you do your background. Right. So I mean, he probably thought I was crazy, but I don't care. How old are you? <clears throat> I don't speak on my age. I respect that. You got an OnlyFans? Yes, sure do. What goes on on your OnlyFans? Because, I mean, people... I plead the fifth. You plead What's the OnlyFans? Hustle, the baby. Only I can't talk... Is? Let me tell you what goes they on. Some down, good, man. Some good... <laughs> they call me the goddamn Thoat Goat in this bitch. That's the why I got goat. Goat. You know what I'm saying? That so, deep. You know what I'm saying? That so deep. It's a whole bunch of... It's a whole bunch of shit. Shout out to my OnlyFans. Kill me, Leslie. Make sure you go... What you think? What so 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 and and that's cool. Whatever you do and how you do it, I respect <laughs> hustlers, right? You gotta add it on there. You gotta add, go on. But ahead what you and think about it. this damn girl that was sucking the gas pump? Sucking the gas pump. You ain't see that? that? Somebody got what? to pull that up. She doing that what? Long, she, no, she let me tell her, y'all. Please pull it up. I have she recently. To die. She's, I have recently started seeing a lot of like girls only fans pop up, up and like if it's screen. my friends, I try to like be like, girl, your shit is on. Your shit is out there for the world to see, like, girls, like... hmm Yeah, she put a condom on a gas pump, and that's what she did. Clout is at an all-time high. And then she the numbers weren't even high. How many, how many views she got? She did that for 20,000 views. And that's on views. Worldstar? We getting 20,000 views off How many interview. did she get on her page? Did she More? put that on her page, or...? She ain't get a lot of views. She, a lot of people have seen that shit. I mean, I mean, yeah. To I, me, that's too I, much. And I personally don't know her, and I'm not trying to call her out because, yeah. you know, females be feeling yeah, some type yeah. of way. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you can re- remember doing for some clout? Because, I, I mean, everybody at one point in their life might have got caught up in a little bit of um, going the craziest the clout. thing that I've done for some clout is twerk on the internet. Um, so. To me, I don't judge anybody for how they get it because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, a job is a job, and everything that I've done, I've received my money for. Like, I'm that's too much because I'm sure she didn't get paid to lick a uh, yeah. um, gas pump. But I just think, you know, with me seeing how girls are really acting on, on OnlyFans, I just say, like, Obviously, you don't see the bigger picture because it's fun and everything like that. I'm known for being a tease, and that that's just me. Um, what kind of paper that shit make? That shit make real paper. Yeah, it, 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 it makes paper. I think within six months, I made 30K, and that's with me not promoting it or not. Um, it's just in your bio or something, right? Or Yeah, it's just yeah. like a little link. I don't really... 
promote it or anything like that. It's just That's a lot of money. It was it was something that I chose to do. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, she had to go back to doing this, which a lot of people don't know. I've been twerking. I've been. That's just. Well, you was a dancer. Well, I was a dancer. dancer. Right. You know, you I don't, dance I don't Atlanta? promote that, nor do I. No, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah that was, was in Atlanta? Okay. Yeah. I worked at Gold Rush. Shout out to Gold Rush. Okay. And I worked at Club Cheetah. Okay. So um, that's just that on that. Um, I don't promote that because I just had to make a living. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I had bills to pay, and I had a lifestyle that I wanted to live. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I was in a strip club, period. And a lot of people still don't look at me as a stripper because I don't carry myself as such. Mm-hmm. And what I'm saying, when you say look at you as a stripper, like, where does a stripper, though? Like, niggas don't look okay. at, I don't, niggas, real niggas don't look down on the woman hustling. Real though. niggas. We talking about on real hustling. niggas. All right, so that's the only thing that matter. But niggas in general, you, you don't meet a lot of real niggas. Real niggas is rare. Yeah, but that shit don't matter though. Cause exactly, what's real is what matter. You, how the majority of men approach a woman, m- the majority of men who approach me may not be real. So how they approach me and how they interact with me, knowing that I was dancing or whatever, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, what's up?" Like, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to goddamn, like, no, don't come to me like that. Come to me like <coughs> how I am. A female, yeah, like, just yeah, like, like a female. how you would approach your goddamn <coughs> mama. Like, don't come to me talking that bullshit. Or like, can I? Can I buy you or can I sleep with you or how much it's going to take, that type of thing. A job is a job. Whether I'm twerking on Instagram, don't come up to me like treating me like a hoe or trying to, like I said before, act like a cow, you're going to get milk and then you're going to be mad at me. She did say that in the last interview. Some niggas just be trying to try and they move, you know what I'm saying, see if you're going to go for it and see if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Right, because I mean, most niggas think, Strippers are hoes or whatever, but I feel like I know more girls who are in school right now sucking dick than I do strippers. <laughs> like, nah, fact, strippers be stingy fact, with the cool fact, cats. Nah, for real, uh, fact. Stripper be like, you know how many goddamn lap dances I say had to do Say your dream, like, say yeah. your dream, say your real dream. It's a fantasy. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm about, the fantasy. What's one thing you, you, you'll tell the so world you finesse. about yourself that everybody <laughs> might not know? He got a bitch. I'm just doing what I do. You know a bitch going to hit a lick. <laughs> For real. What's one thing everybody might not know about you? They'll be surprised to know. Um, I think... Good or bad? One thing that people might not know about me is that I'm really, like, chill. Mo- mostly laid back. I think the narrative that's out there right now is, like, that I'm this crazy bitch who beat people up. And that's far from the truth. <laughs> like, that's really How many people have been accused of beating up? Just one in particular. Just one, okay. But, like, that was the biggest situation. And mm-hmm. I feel like now when I enter a room, people have this mentality of, or this perception of who oh, I you, am. You, you, but that, you, did, you, did you look at the pictures? That was a, that was bad. called a bitch fighting for her life. I got you. No, I'm like you get what I'm saying. Again, like again, no, domestic violence. It's whatever. really it's really not serious, and we can laugh about it and we can no, chit chat about, about it, it now. I'm saying like for the people that were making jokes, like okay, I got you. it was a lot of celebrities that I saw, like Pleasure P, Dio Hughley, um, Bambi. Like, all these people talking about domestic violence or talking about who they thought I was without even having a conversation with me, without even ever meeting me. Mm. Besides you ever meeting me, if you have a daughter, if you have a mother, you should know. Like, I I already wear long nails. If I'm fighting, my nails are going to break and you're going to get scratched. You have scratches on your hand right now. With you being lighter, you're going to, they're going to show up. Them scratches went away in two, three days. And if that's all he got, that's all he deserved, really. He really deserved more than that. You think, you think, um, you linking up Bow Wow goddamn help you get in a better position? No, it didn't. No. Why you say that? Because what did he do for me? I'm just saying, like, putting you in the light, just even with that situation, even though it's a bad situation, you still can capitalize off that, though. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't, that wasn't what I was trying to do. I understand it. that, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, I understand that, like, that ain't what you. Like, on no clout shit, but I'm saying, like, it, it, it happened. You know yeah, what I'm saying? it happened, and I mean, I mean, I got to I gotta work with what I was given. Thanks. But would I have rather not fought and been in a loving, caring relationship and, and thugged it out like that? I understand that. By all means, I would have rather been in a relationship with a loving nigga and on some goddamn Gucci man and Keisha K.O.R. type shit. Like, was that the last time y'all ever spoke? Mm-hmm. That night? Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have, like, this is still... We still going to court with all this bullshit. So we got restraining orders and shit. So we ain't talking no time soon. Mm-hmm. Facts. Big facts. No cap. 
Tell us what you got coming up for you right out. What I have coming up is I have music coming up, music videos. We have a few things that I cannot talk about right now because it's still in the contract, but you guys will be movies. seeing me. Yeah, yeah movies. Yeah, you know, yeah. bank action. TV so. screen and stuff like that. That's yeah, right. so. bank act. You need now somebody. you look like you belongs on TV, though. Yes, thank you. Um... I appreciate that. So, yeah, really, that's all it. That's all that I've been working on. Just working on me as a person because I think people don't understand how hard it is to be in the limelight or to be in front of a camera all the time and have people not give you personal space. Like me, I wanted to stay, take a step back and kind of chill because... Some shit is just not, like, for me, I could have used this whole little thing and spend it, put a spin on it and work, but my mental space is more important. I don't have to do drugs to sit in front of a camera. <coughs> Some of these girls be snorting coke and doing the most because they can't mentally recuperate. Okay, they, mm. Before you leave, are you all right in the mental space? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah leave, you know, I you know feel like now I'm better more than ever. Like, if you would have asked me this, Months ago, I probably was, I probably would have been like <clears throat> telling y'all a different story. Mm. Like, still going to therapy. Still, I really think all black people should go to therapy. Like, seriously. That's what we just say. Absolutely. That's what we promote. We promote that. We promote that. We promote that. Like, you got to talk place. to somebody because you can't tell. Right. You can't tell no regular motherfucker your, your business. business. Because yeah. they like most of them girls like shit, bitch. I would have took that ass whooping for that money. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. stupid stuff like that. The mentality of it all, or like people not really understanding. Like yeah, these people may be celebrities, or these people may have a little bit of more income, or be in a different light or space. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's still real life shit. We argued about real. Regular shit Like this nigga talking to you You talking to this nigga woo, 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 look, Real basic nigga shit That shouldn't have even been going on But it happened So now I just make sure The next nigga Moving forward Is just Got some shit to lose Cause People who don't got shit to lose Don't Don't care about shit Like their life If you don't care about your life You're not gonna care about mine Period mm. Alright there it is We appreciate you pulling up the big right, facts sure Check out the music Check her out You know what it is Salute